Hi Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a weekly message for the sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising does not matter. Any Scorpio propensities you may have in your chart, you may find messages that resonate with you. If not, do feel free to check out other sign propensities. Um, any information you need is in the description box. And um, what else was I gonna say? <laughs> Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and who has continued to subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. We're going to jump right in Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? February 13th through the 19th. Also going to pull a animal oracle card as well as a work your light oracle card for you at the end just to give you some further guidance for the week, okay? What do we have for Scorpio? February 13th through the 19th. How many of you are bored <laughs> getting that energy or maybe in the past feeling a little bored? Okay, one more card for Scorpio. February 13th through the 19th. Of course you didn't get one more card. <laughs> All right bottom of the deck Scorpio we have the Sun card very very beautiful energy to be potentially tapping into this week I wish this for all of you Sun card is the happiest card in the deck major arcana you know what I say I would say what's what's happier than a naked baby on a pony right you can't get happier than that this is abundance this is fertility this is you know f flourishing growing happiness like the happy you cannot get happier than this all right, could be dealing with the Leo, have that propensity in your chart. Okay, but definitely some beautiful energy. You have the potential to tap into, Scorpio. Okay, your first card out is the Four of Cups in the past position. Definitely could be feeling bored right now, feeling not very happy, discontent. Okay, not really happy with the options you have. Could have missed an opportunity with the one you did want, though. Definitely an energy of that coming off of this card. This is a card of not being happy with the options you have or not seeing what's right in front of you as well. This is the Ace of Cups here that the universe is gifting this guy. And he's not even looking at it. You know, he's looking at these, you know, basic non-floating magical cups down here, right? Definitely could have missed an opportunity in the past or feeling bored, feeling discontent currently with your emotional situation because the cups do speak to our emotions. Next card out, Major Archon of the Fool card. Wanting to take a leap of faith, wanting to start something new. Feeling excited, feeling wanting to start over pertaining to a situation or in general. Okay, currently, that's how you're currently feeling, that you're ready to start something new. You're ready to take a leap of faith. You're ready to go on an adventure, Scorpio. Your next card out, Wheel of Fortune, another major arcana. Ending of a cycle. This is also luck being on your side. This is also destiny being at play. Something that is destined for you. Something that is written in the stars. Some sort of luck being on your side. The wheel turning in your favor. You know, things going your way. It being your time. Beautiful energy. Definitely could have put an ending to some things. Or you're ready to go into a new cycle. You're ready to leave this boring, unfulfilling cycle behind. And you're ready to step into a cycle where you're happy or, or you know to look for some fulfillment here next card out is the page of pentacles could be dealing with a page of pentacles page of cups could be dealing with pisces coming out underneath the four of cups definitely i think you're wanting to reach out to someone wanting to pop up surprise someone send some sort of small message of emotions because it's funny, he's got the cup in his hand here, and it's like kind of like the cup that this guy is missing out on, right? Definitely maybe reminiscing about some sort of opportunity that you feel like you've missed, or this is someone in your energy. Reminiscing on an opportunity they might have missed with you, something that was very happy at one point. Ooh, feeling left out in the cold now, though. Either you walked away from someone or someone walked away from you and this person's feeling it. Let's just say they're feeling very lonely. Definitely could be this Four of Cups energy, feeling very discontent. Someone definitely feels like they missed an opportunity. Wanting to start over. This is what the fool wants to jump towards. So whether this is you that's missed an opportunity with someone because you're focused on all the wrong things. Or someone's missed an opportunity too because they were fo focused on all the wrong things. 
This person is wanting something new. They're wanting to start over. They're wanting stability. They want to celebrate. They want to take things to the next level now because they're heartbroken. Wanting to take action. I could go on. The, the bottom of the deck is beautiful. You, this is happy. This is a situation that makes them very happy. This is a situation that makes you very happy. There was a lot of happiness in the situation. Someone's wanting to reach out. How did that go? Someone's wanting to reach out. Did I put them back in the right order? Oh yeah, the sun. Someone's feeling alone. Someone's feeling lonely that you walked away. You maybe stopped talking to this person because they were focused on all the wrong things. Right? But now they're 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 they've got time to think about it. That's what's going on. And they're wanting to start over. They're wanting to start a new cycle. They're wanting to start something new. They want to take a leap of faith. Their heart is being drawn. This is they feel like it's destined. Or you're feeling like it's destined. Wanting to reach out, so maybe apologize as well. This card is also speaking of apologies. Someone's wanting to apologize for the fact that they didn't see what was right in front of them. Maybe something you're not expecting, something that could happen out of the blue. You're not expecting this person to express. And I definitely feel like they want to express your next card out as the Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with a water sign. Well, that's you. Could be dealing with a lot of another water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Queen of Cups is just someone that's open to receive love. Definitely could have not been open in the past. You can see how this guy's hands are closed. He doesn't want to take what's given to him. Right? So the cup disappeared. Your hands are closed. You can't take a cup if, you're, if your hands are crossed. This person's now open. They're open to love. Very much in love. The Queen of Cups is energy of being very much in love. Deep emotions. Ready to give and receive that love. Look how big her cup is now. Definitely wanting to take a leap of faith towards that. Coming in right underneath the, the full card here. Definitely expect some messages from this person. Eight of Wands is your last card. Well, you did get three extra cards, but your rightful last card is the Eight of Wands. Movement forward, passionate messages. Back and forth communication, also travel. This person's definitely wanting to travel towards you. If you haven't seen them in a while, definitely if you Five of Pentacles, don't put them out in the cold. They're feeling lonely. You know, really missing the connection. Really in their emotions, so to speak with this Queen of Cups, wanting to reach out, wanting to apologize, wanting to move things forward, wanting to express the passion and emotion that is, that, that's going on within them right now. There's been time for reflection. When you're in Five of Pentacles, trust me, you got nothing better to do but then reflect, right? It's cold outside. It's cold. You did get three extra cards. You got the King of Cups, which is a true peer here. Definitely a true match. Power couple. He's looking directly at her. The King of Cups is an energy of someone that's very, very deeply in love, but someone that doesn't have doesn't express it all that much. Definitely could have been the energy that this person was in before. This is you. Maybe this is the energy you're in now. You guys could have definitely switched. You're now keeping your emotions withheld because, you know, this person was not open to love in the past. And you were the one that was open and ready to receive, wearing your heart on your sleeve. But now the roles have seemed to switch. This could definitely be the Wheel of Fortune, right? Switching around. Now you're protecting your energy and your love. You definitely still have love for this person, though. Because, I mean, you guys are coming up as the King and Queen of Cups. A true pair, power couple. But you definitely put this person on pause. Four of Swords. Meditating. Praying. Taking a break, withdrawing, going within, connecting to one's higher self. This is definitely what this person probably has been doing since you've withdrawn. Since you've retracted your energy, your love, your nurturing. Okay, because it wasn't appreciated. So someone definitely had some time to think. Lots of time to think. Definitely something they weren't expecting. Tower card, major arcana. Definitely something that fell apart. Something that had the potential to be stable. Maybe it was stable for a very long time. But it blew apart because someone was withholding, someone was closed off, someone was not in the space to receive all the love that they were destined to have that was that's theirs. Maybe obviously ego issues, self-esteem issues. Because I mean, if you saw a floating cup of love coming towards you, would you not? You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just me though. Definitely wasn't open in the past. Lots of emotions for you though. The both of you. Definitely a lot of love and emotions. Definitely something that made both of you very, very happy. There was a potential for 
happily ever after here, but someone was withheld. They weren't they weren't forthcoming with those emotions, but definitely expect some messaging now. The Wheel of Fortune is turning, coming out right on top of this Eight of Wands. Movement forward. Someone is ready to express. Someone is ready to apologize. Someone is now open and ready to go on an adventure as far as this relationship goes. Open up to the possibilities of what this thing is. Definitely a destined situation though with the Wheel of Fortune. And someone is maybe now seeing that. Okay, let's get you a Animal Oracle Scorpio. This could definitely be you because I have a lot of water energy here. Rhino Spirit. Overcome any obstacle. Definitely Wheel of Fortune. This is good luck energy too. As far as finances go, some of you guys could be having luck as pertaining to your careers, to your finances. This is blessings. Overcome any obstacles though. Definitely were some obstacles in this relationship. You know, that's what caused the tower to fall. Created a tower. You know your worth. If you're a queen of cups, if you came in the, into the really connection as a queen of cups, then you were, you know, in a good, healthy place. Ready to open, ready to be, you know, to invest. And this person wasn't. They were they were too busy trying to eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And they ended up out in the cold. Okay. Whatever. If they thought you weren't leaving, you, you showed them. They had a lot of time to meditate. They had to connect with their higher selves. And now they're ready to overcome this. Ready to start new. Ready to express. Ready to move things forward. These are also Cupid's arrows, right? So definitely expect a communication. Because the Eight of Wands is coming in between the Queen of Cups and the... Um, King of Cups. Okay, let's get you a work your light. Scorpio, 13th through the 19th of February, please. Maybe within the next week, the next eight days. But definitely a situation that made the both of you very happy. I think that sun energy is between the both of you. Inner temple, devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. <laughs> How sweet. All these cups energy and all this king and queen of cups, definitely you guys are extremely into each other, to say the least. Devotion. Inner temple. Tune in to the portal of your heart. This is exactly what this person had to do. They had to go within. After that tower hit, after you walked away, after they realized that this relationship, this love, as much as you guys love each other, it can't be stable. It can't be solid unless they're open and willing to reciprocate that love. What's the point of loving if you're going to withhold it within yourself? It's not for you. <laughs> the love is not for you. It's for the other person. So why are you keeping it? You know what I mean? But anyways, definitely someone went within, in her temple. Tuning into your heart, heart chakra awakening for this person. Definitely got some time to reflect and realizing that this connection is what made them happy. Son of happy is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, and after this tower hit, boom, reality, cold, cold world, man, it's a cold world. But expect some communication, expect a passionate new beginning, there's definitely potential for that. You know, I definitely think you still have feelings for this person as well, coming in as a queen and king of cups, you just want this person to get their stuff together, right? That's all. All right, Scorpio, those are the messages I have for you. Hopefully you found them helpful. If you do, thumbs up the video for me. And until next time.